Hey guys, Mr. Poseidon here. Once again, I'm back. I haven't done a video in a while, but I had to do a video. These are the winter months here. You know I'm a big surf fisherman. I love surf fishing. You'll always catch me out on the island, especially in Montauk. So basically today I got up early with my wife. I said, come on, let's take a ride. Let's go to Bear Mountain. That's Bear Mountain State Park in New York. So we came up for a ride today. I said, let's make a video on what I use to go surf fishing. As far as meaning what I use, not laws and things, but how I store my equipment in my vehicle when I go. Because I'm always on the beach with my vehicle. All permits and everything. I have everything for legal access. So, basically I'm here to show you how I travel with my equipment and how I store and so on. If you know anything about Mr. Poseidon, you know that in my my last vehicle was a Jeep. I had a JL. I really had it all souped up. Drawers in the back. My first drawers ever that I purchased. Before that, I used to store everything in the Jeep and it was like a big mess in there. Big pile. I was always climbing in and out my truck. It was torture. I did not like it. So basically, I found out about drawers, went on YouTube, saw these things, and I said, I want this for my, uh, for my Jeep. So I went and I got them. Unfortunately, I had a rollover accident last December. Uh, I can actually tell you I'm very lucky to come out of that alive, and all I got was a bump on my head after my Jeep rolled two and a half times. I'm not a speeder on the road really quick. It was kind of bad. They actually caught the fella that caused everything. Uh, and uh, good for me, I had three great uh, you know, people who stepped up and were witnesses for me. Enough said about that, I'm okay, thank God. So basically here today, I'm here to show you on what I use. As you can see, this is my Ford 150, and it is the STX model. Now a lot of you guys are looking and go, oh, you know, it's a Ford, it's all right, it's a 150. It's the lower end model. Now, I'm not gonna go out and spend, the, you know, I went from this car right here, this truck right here, cost me basically $33,000, where as you can go to a next level truck and hit the high 40s with no problem. I didn't need that. I'm only going on the beach, perfect four wheel drive vehicle. And uh, I wanted the six and a half foot long bed. I know a lot of you guys got five foot beds out there. I just wanted it for room to store everything. So let me start by showing you what I use when I uh, travel with all my fishing gear. Here, my wife's gonna show you up close. I got the Truck Vault Drawers. This company is located in Virginia. You can go online and check them out. A lot of uh, police agencies, uh, departments will use this. It is so solidly made, you cannot get in here. So they store their firearms in here and things like that. I don't use it for that. I use it to store my van stalls in there. And as many of you know, those reels are not cheap. So I store them in here. Nobody's getting in here. So let me start by saying, let me take my key out first. You have here a combination, as you could see, and you can pretty much put the combination. I never set this up. I could and I have to. So basically what I do is I put my key in, turn the key and unlock it, and before I open it fully to show you, these are on roller bearings. Here is the lock right here, and I'm just going to show you really quick, guys. This lock right here is very thick. You're not getting in here. This is a Looks almost like one inch thick piece of metal here, and you're not getting in here. Everything is high grade steel uh, as far as the locks go. So basically pulling out the drawer all the way, I got six and a half foot drawers, and I got a divider in here that I set up. It's not locked in, so I can always switch it off. I got a lot of my camping gear, you know, my cooking essentials, because like I said, I'm on the beach, and uh, I'm fishing on the beach, so I need to have everything with me. If I get hungry or whatever, and I want a hot meal, I got it with me. So basically, let me close this up. Give it a little turn here, and that locks it up. Everything's nice and locked. Now on this side here, this is where I keep my main fishing gear. I'm gonna pull this out for you. Again, six and a half feet. These are 12 inch drawers. These are, just for you guys to know, these ones were made custom made. I think they come in nine inch height uh, uh, drawers. I, 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 I extended it to 12 inches because I need all the deep room. As you can see here, I have all my, uh, my uh, you know, my lures and things like that 
all stored nicely if I need it. I just go in and get it. I set this up myself. If you guys have a plan on it, you guys too can set it up how you want. I have other boxes, and yeah, I use Craftsman boxes, which I keep. You know, I made, you know, belts, uh, you know, boga, stra uh, boga grip straps, uh, other ones on my headlights. This one I have, uh, what do I got here? I can barely see. Stone locks, stone for sharpening my knives, and so on. And a lot of little essentials tape, and I have tons of room left over. Uh, again, these things are on rollers, as you can see. One thing I gotta say, that these do not lock into place. So if you're on the hill, there's probably a chance that it will slide out. But really, I'm not on the hill. I'm like pretty much level on the beach. Lock them up, these things are not opening. These are metal here in the front. These are excellent. Nobody is getting it. Now, again, if you guys own a, a truck, right? And you're looking to get, I put an ARE cap on. Big mistake, if you're ever gonna do what I did, you gotta get the larger cap. You can fit more things in there, such as a cooler, which now I have to store in my back seat. In the future though, I'm already in, uh, in the works of ordering another cap and I will be putting this one up for sale. Let me come around here on the side. What I did was here, let me put this down so you see. What I did was here, I purchased a Rhino Rack system. And that comes with the, uh, the uh, you order everything and uh, I put everything together. I installed everything myself. Uh, I pretty much went on YouTube, followed all uh, directions and so on. And it worked out great. So I got the Rhino Rack up there. When I go away on long trips on five, six days, I also put my Thule box up there. I put a lot of storage up there. This system is made to hold about 150 pounds when you're moving, okay? Only 150 pounds when you're moving. So basically I'm loading up the Thule box with about 70, 80 pounds worth of stuff. In the end, everything all together comes out to about 130 pounds, 20 pounds underneath the limit. It's not coming off, it's not falling off. I've used it, I've been on the beach, so it's actually excellent. A lot of you guys are looking at this, wondering what this is. As far as you surf fishermen, you know what it is. I bought these Rhino Rack uh, holders here. And they have little uh, insets here, which you put your fishing poles in there one by one. You can lock them up. There's a lock right here, and you lock them. And the fishing poles are nice, because they're not on top of my truck. I can actually reach them. You open this, pull it out, open this, and pull it out. Lock them up again when you're ready to put them back. And that's that. Very simple. I love that Rhino Rack system. Uh, the ARE caps come with their own, um, if you want, they'll install them for you, but you won't be able to install a Rhino Rack on their track system. So their track system works with other brands, so it, it depends what you want, you do what you want. Um, again, uh, going back here, the main thing was now that I'm going to show you that I love so much, anybody who owns a truck, right, and you load your stuff up in the truck, you know one of the main issues is that if you got stuff in the back of the truck, you got to do this. I also installed an ARE carpet lining, runs all through the side walls, the back, the bottom. Keeps everything nice and soft, meaning, you know, you got a comfort ride and you get no noise back there. So basically you guys are reaching in and you're going in. And I don't want to say you guys because I was right there too. I was in there, I was climbing in and it sucked. And the older you get, the harder it is to climb in tight areas and hold those positions and so on so basically what I did was I ordered and I did my research online and I love this company you got to go see them the company name is right here these guys are called cargoglide.com handcrafted in the US and you got to love it you got to love that this stuff is made in the US this is solid stuff it's all freaking steel stainless steel good good uh, product actually excellent I also brought a divider there you can see the divider right there runs across you can adjust that back and forth straps which get hooked up on the side through other uh, devices that they give you just to hold everything down if you needed that i don't but here's the best part and i'm going to explain something to you guys that when you buy a cargo glide don't get fooled and i don't mean that the company's going to fool you you've got to do your research you got to know what you're buying so basically what i'm going to show you here is very important now i got a cargo glide but i got what's called a 100% extension. There's others which are 70% extension. Now, if you don't know what that is, let me show you. 
on a 70% extension, you will pull that. These are all on bearings, solid, solid stuff. 70% will usually come out to, but let's give it a little bit. Let's not do it so bad. So 70% will be coming out to there. It locks in place. And still, if you want to get some of your things, you have to go deep in here and start grabbing. I don't like to do that. I'm not a tall guy as it is. So for me, I want to make it as easy as possible to have the most enjoyable time I can have when I'm looking. So 100% extension would be this. And there it is. That's 100% extension. It comes out to 100%. I don't have to go in the truck. I can just reach everything right here. It's right here, as you can see. Coming around again, I'm going to show you guys something. The model that I got is called the uh, CG1000 XL. The 1,000 uh, stands for, this is a 1,000 pounds, so I can actually store a 1,000 pounds of, the, of things on here and I'll be fine. I never go over a 1,000 pounds. That's why I got the 1,000 pounds. They have 1,500, they have 2,000, 2,500. I don't know if they have 3,000. You have to go online and check for that. Those are for guys who are out on the field and work in construction and storing cinder blocks and so on. They want to get them and pull them out and have that for them. For me, I don't need that. Show you what's called here the lock release system. You basically hold your hand here, you turn it, see how easy it is? You turn it or to the side and then give a little push. Now I can lock this another in other in other in other in other, in other position. So basically you can lock it to where you want it and then that'll stay where it is. I think it locks in three or four different positions. Again, turn it, pull it all, push it all the way, release it and you're locked in. You're not moving, you're not going anywhere. I love this system, it helps me out. It, people see me on the beach and they see it pull out, they come running right away. A lot of people have drawers, a lot of people just have the cargo glides or whatever brand you're using. But I like to have both, as you can see, it makes it very easy for me to get my equipment and go fishing. So when I'm at the beach, I have everything there. From May till November, my rods are on top of my car. And no matter where I am, no matter where I'm driving, I can fish anywhere. As long as the fish are hitting on lures, I can go fishing there. Um, as far as anything else, I'll show you a little something over here. Now they have two areas on the side also. These are magnetized, they have little areas here where you grab and you open it you could see they're magnetized here the magnets are here I have emergency equipment there for uh, anything like if I get stuck on the road I can always get out of it no problem it's something where I don't open this all the time and I don't need to open it all the time so basically I have one here I have one in the back also emergency equipment and I have one here and also another one in the back. Now, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna stress that these drawers are actually excellent. They work really good for me. If I were any of you guys that fish a lot or you know just like to travel with their equipment in the car and so on, this is the stuff to have. You gotta have this. It's dynamite. You're on the beach, easy to get to. Everything is easy. And if you're a surf fisherman, the best part about being a surf fisherman is being comfortable, being able to get to your equipment, have what you want when you want it and you get it so basically this is what i use for my surf fishing journeys this is my truck the ford 150. i'm not about looks and everything but i'm not or um, i am about organization and making my life easy when i'm fishing uh, a lot of the stuff i wear like my gear up uh i love uh what's called drift this company's called drift you got to see my online review their waders and their jackets this is a dynamite company where you can spend a thousand dollars on waders of another company and just get the waders for a thousand bucks. I did that, I had those waders. I gained a little weight over the years. I can't use them anymore. You know, I, I thought to myself, am I gonna buy another thousand dollar waiter set? Happened to be online one day, happened to come across this company. Uh, I checked them out, I checked out some of their reviews online and I heard nothing but good things on them. And I gotta tell you, see my review for them drift dynamite you could see i don't use it just for surf fishing i use it for going out you layer up a little bit it's a perfectly great jacket waterproof windproof you know bunch of zippers all over the place get in the back so on you got everything everything on this jacket it's just dynamite you got fleeced uh fleeced pockets in here keep your 
pans nice and cold, uh, nice and warm. They're fleeced. They got pockets here on the side, pockets on the inside. This is a good jacket. Anyhow, enough of that. See my review on that. The main thing I'm here to show you today is my truck and how I operate when I surf fish. So that's it, Mr. Poseidon here, uh, giving you guys a little review. That's it for today. Uh, not much more to say. This year I'm definitely going to do some videos while I'm fishing. Again, I'm not like a professional fisherman out there that's going to tell you guys what to do. I do not do that. I go out and have a good time. The little things that I've learned, I go out with fishing guides. Uh, also to let you know, Bill Wetzel, what a fishing guide that guy is. That guy will show you. Make sure if you're going out on a fishing uh, trip, mention uh, Mr. Poseidon. He knows who I am. Uh, he taught me everything I know about surf fishing. Uh, Guides are great, whoever they are. You go out with them, you learn a lot, and it makes you a better uh, surf fisherman. And I can tell you, ever since I went out with Bill Wessel, my uh, striper ability in catching them has gotten to be drastically, drastically better. I can actually um, catch more fish with the knowledge I've learned both of Bill Wessel. I'm not gonna do a uh, review with him too. I got a couple of videos when I went out with him and so on. Again, uh, Mr. Poseidon here. I'm signing off. I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope you guys can get something out of this. Maybe you guys want to set something like this up in your truck. Thank you and uh, wish you the best in surf fishing and catch a lot of fish. <laughs>